what if, what if the iPhone 13 had an M1 chip in it? Would that tickle your pickle? Did you know you're only part of the Toilet Squad if you have notifications turned on? Make sure to turn them all on so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech FPT. The show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek. That is me to another. That is you. Hey, what? What's this? Well, would you look at that? The brand new Genius Bar podcast channel is up and running. You can now get full episodes of that show now in video as well as clips because that's the cool thing that the kids do. Link is down in the description for that uh, channel. Go subscribe and I'll give you $10 for that. Not really, but it'd be cool if I did. But uh, Sam, Sam will. He'll give you $10. Not a joke. He'll, act, he'll probably really do it. I haven't asked him yet, but he's pro probably. All right, enjoy your $10 from Sam. Let's talk about tech news. <laughs> okay, so first up for the day, real quick, happy almost, I guess depending on when you're watching this, almost pre-order day for iMac, iPad, Apple TV. Is there more? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Sounds right to me. Let's go with that. Apple previously said, like, during the announcement that uh, it, everything would be coming in the second half of May. They would be shipping in the second half of May, but I got the exact date for you. I leaked it a couple nights ago, uh, and I guess Apple said, nope, f*** you, and then went ahead and leaked the dates themselves soon after that, so... Thanks for Apple. I don't know why I have a job. Little bit of a note, though, for you. If, if you really want that 12.9-inch iPad Pro, you might want to make sure you hurry up with that one. Like, make sure you get it fast, because according to my source, and this is an exact quote, uh, supply for the 11-inch iPad Pro is fine, but the supply for the 12.9-inch is severely f Again, direct quote, very professional source, as you can tell. So don't, like, dance around and be like, Oh, I'll get it later in the day. I'll sleep in. It'll be fine. Or wait for the next day. If you want the iPad, the 12.9 inch mini LED iPad, buy it right away. Wake up early, eat your Wheaties, flick your bean, do what you got to do, and then hurry up and get your pre-order in. Or, you know, you go ahead and gamble it. I'm sure it'll be fine. You'd be like, oh, nah, I won't wake up at five in the morning. I'll just wait a few hours, wake up naturally, and then put my pre-order in. But then you're going to see that by that time, yours won't ship until December. So you're welcome. Should have listened to me. If you watch this show, then you already know I love WeVPN. And right now, it's their birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, WeVPN. It has officially been a full year since the guys at WeVPN left their day jobs over at those other VPN companies to instead create one of their own that they truly believe in. A super fast, super safe and secure VPN that actually puts its users first. And right now to celebrate their birthday, they're offering you the lowest prices they ever have. They're like, happy birthday to us. Sure, we'll take less money. Get a two year plan at 73% off with two months free for just $2.69 a month. <laughs> 69. Even better, if you're watching Front Page Tech right now, you can get an additional 10% off just by going to wevpn.com slash FPT. WeVPN allows you to be protected and secure online, lets you unlock content from all of your favorite streaming services, and unlike the other guys, they don't keep any of your logs, so not even they know what you're doing. Out of a sea of VPNs all over the place, WeVPN is the only one that I truly believe in. So to get started today or to make the switch, link down in the description below, wevpn.com slash FPT, extra 10% off. <clears throat> okay. What do you want? <laughs> you want more news? Fine. So speaking of that 12.9 inch iPad Pro, you may have seen stories floating around uh, throughout the last few days about how the last generation Magic Keyboard will not fit the new 12.9 inch now, I'm not really exactly sure what started this, but effectively, the story is that since the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro is a bit thicker, 0.5 millimeters thicker than the previous generation due to that mini LED panel, uh, that it would fit, or rather not fit, in the last previous generation. This is a mess. I'm gonna start over. <laughs> since the new iPad Pro is thicker, it won't fit the last Magic Keyboard. That's That was it. So instead, you'll have to buy one of the new ones. <laughs> and at first, I was like, how convenient is that? Wow, how convenient is that? But it turns out 
not really as bad as we thought. I mean, it took them long enough, but Apple has finally put out an official statement about this, saying the first generation Magic Keyboard is functionally compatible with the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch fifth generation with liquid retina XDR. Is this really necessary, Apple? Due to the slightly thickety thicker dimensions of this new iPad Pro, it's possible that the Magic Keyboard may not precisely fit when closed especially when screen protectors are applied. What? What, I what is that? What is that? I like how they said it's possible that it may not precisely fit when closed. What do you mean it's possible that it may not? It either fit or no fit. You guys haven't tested it? Like what it, the official statement is literally, uh, yeah, mm, maybe, we'll see. Either way, <laughs> according to them, it'll fit. Probably. Go ahead and buy the new iPad and try it with your previous keyboard. It's worth a try, I guess. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. It's like sometimes when you're shopping for clothes and you're all like, eh, it's possible those pants may not precisely fit, but I'm gonna buy them anyway and try them out when I get home. Or who knows? You might you might get your new iPad and try to fit it in your previous magic keyboard and it ends up looking like this. What do I know? Alrighty tidy. So last up for the day. And by the way, guys, super sorry. News has been real slow for the last couple of weeks. And so I'm on the struggle bus, just like you are trying to make videos that no one cares about. Anyway, I was just scrolling around looking for news and I saw this article from Screen Rant. In the article, they speculate that the new iPhone 13 coming later this year might have the M1 chip inside of it. And you know what? The more I thought about it, that's actually fair speculation. In fact, it's not the first time that I've heard people bring something like this up. And you know, I have sources. I know, I know some people. So I was like, this would be ridiculous to look into. Like I definitely shouldn't ask anybody about that because then I would look dumb. Uh, so I was like, nah, but then I was like, so I did. I asked. I reached out to a source, the source, the good, good source, the source that has never been wrong. And I asked if this might be a thing that maybe kind of potentially might be happening. Are we getting an M1 chip in the iPhone 13? And according to them, <laughs> nope, no, not a thing. The new iPhone will ship with an A15 as expected. And I immediately felt like an idiot after getting the answer knowing that I asked. But you know what? Someone had to do it. Not that it's surprising news, everyone, but no, screen rant, the next iPhone will not ship with an M1 chip. Careful, okay? News outlets and Apple websites, be careful. Don't strain yourself trying to type this too fast. John Prosser says thing that we knew was happening is actually happening. Confirmed. Hashtag news. So there you go. You're welcome, internet. Hey, uh, have you noticed that I've been like ending the show before you even realize that it's ending? <laughs>